Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are about to do 2017 Topps Chrome Baseball, a hobby case. Pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to all these people for getting in on the action. Really appreciate it. Now, one person that bought a spot here will get the Yankees. So let's get everyone from Matt all the way down to Caleb. Pop them in here, and I'll eliminate that blank spot there that was left by the Yankees. So... These 29 spots have a chance at getting the Yankees, whoever's randomized to the top after eight times, three and a five. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time, name on top after eight times is Jordan Hope. Eight times, Jordan Hope, who was hoping for the Yankees, gets him. Couldn't pass that joke up. So there you go, Jordan. You'll get like a little uh, rooftop, a little carrot next to your name to indicate that you got this in a in a randomizer. So congrats to Jordan. Let me print this list out, and then we'll do the break. See, Kyle liked that joke. <laughs> Come for the breaks. Stay for the jokes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what it's for. Stay for the bad jokes. All right. Now, on jazbeeshobbyland.com, there are plenty of pick your teams. Hobby cases are pick your teams. The full case random uh, cases are the jumbos. So, there you go. Jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. Okay. The list, hot off the presses, officially printed out. There you go. Now you know it's real. Here on the third, Thursday. Maybe break four will happen tomorrow. Maybe tonight, actually. I want to do a jumbo tonight, though. That random jumbo would be pretty nice to do. All right, so I have this paperwork set right here. Let's pop this case open. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh my God, the camera's all over the place. It can't handle all this. Bradley's saying, Brad, Brad's in the house. He's suggesting, he's, he says we're almost close to 4,000 subscribers. Thanks everybody. But he's saying what you should do is $1 breaks when you hit 4,000 subscribers. Man, thank God you're not running our business, Brad. You drive it right into the ground. <laughs> all right, here we go. There's, there's old Aaron Judge on the front. Let's see. We haven't seen any Aaron Judge autos yet. So maybe maybe here. Maybe in this break. That's what Jordan would like. Good luck, everybody. Thank you very much. We have another picker team available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So be sure to check that out. And we have a eight box jumbo case available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Be sure to check that out. Michael House, who does a pretty good job at uh, at sorcery, at predicting. So he's gonna see, uh, he's gonna see what, uh, he's saying big hits are gonna be coming out of here. All right, folks. Um, Brad, with some other hot business ideas, saying we should do Father's Day packs when we hit 4,000 subscribers. To who? We only got like a hundred of them. We can't give away two. We can't give away all of those. We don't even have that much left. Thanks for trying, Brett. I appreciate you suggesting how to run our business, but I think I think we got it. No, four thousand subscribers is not enough to give away stuff like that. I'll wait until we have forty thousand subscribers. Four thousand subscribers, nothing. We need forty thousand subscribers, not four thousand subscribers. Four thousand subscribers. That's just a drop in the bucket. All right, let, let's get a quick roll call here. What teams do you have? Like FanDuel's, what teams do you have? He said third time is a charm. I don't know who you are, actually. What your name is in this break. All right, box number one. Uh, what do we have here? Two autographs? Yeah, two autographs per box is what we're looking for, plus parallels. Good luck, everybody.
I like these 80, 1987 sets right here. And that's an orange Manny Margot. The oranges are exclusive to these hobby cases. Eight out of 25, that is for the Padres. That will go to Dennis. Oh, you're Jared. Okay, great. Good luck, Jared. He has the White Sox and the Rockies. And Jesse Winker is our first autograph. Nice. Two games lately, two home runs for Jesse Winker. Reds, that'll go to Ziggy. <laughs> Justin Amendola thinks he has the Yankees. Unless your name is, unless you just change your name from Jordan Hope to Justin Amendola. There's Aaron Judge. That's 20 bucks. And Roman Quinn for the Phillies. That will go to James Allen. James on the board. Thank you, James. Getting in. Nice, Carlos Correa. Now, no vet base ships, but pretty much everything else will. It will still be a decent amount. So we got our two autographs. We're just looking for parallels. A nice Kenley Jansen purple. 231 out of 299. There you go. That's yeah. That's one, James. Sleeve all these up. Just in the interest of time, I'll top load all of the uh, the parallels at the end of the break. But autographs will will top load immediately. All right. Next box. Michael House getting guessing. Uh, MH is guessing smoker, a smoker auto. Mets guy. This is pick your team number three. Pick your team number four, already available on the website, jaspershobbyland.com. If you missed out on your team the first time, don't miss, it, don't miss out this time. Remember, every team you buy has a chance to get the Yankees in the hobby edition, in the pick your team break. So give it a go. We would have charged over 500 bucks for the Yankees. There are some teams that are, that are only $24.99. If I were you, I would grab those teams right away to give yourself the best odds possible to get the Yankees. That'll be the way to do it. Justin Amendola is like, I wish I had the Yankees. Listen, you can get the Yankees, Justin. You can get the Yankees randomized to you, just like how Jordan got the Yankees randomized to him. All he bought was, he only bought one team. No, he bought a couple teams. He bought the Marlins and the Blue Jays. Maybe another one, but that was enough to get him randomized to the Yankees. He saved himself hundreds and hundreds of dollars. All right, box number two. Good luck. Chris Sale leads us off. There's more Aaron Judge. I think that's like another $20 right there. I love these uh, negative parallels. And Matt Strain for the Royals. That was one of the last teams picked up by Matt. 80 out of 250. Purple parallel. On card auto. Matt Strain for KC. Matt D with KC.
David Dahl. Prism Castellanos. Tyler Glass now. Sometimes those are numbered, but those ones were not. Saw a Jesse Winker auto not too long ago. Those are refractors will ship. And purple Luke Weaver. Cardinals. 159 out of 299. That'll go to the Redbirds. That'll be for Darren McKenzie. Should have one more autograph out of here. And there it is, Rymel Tapia. Rookie on-card auto for the Rockies. That'll go to, there you go, Jared. Jared on the board. And Salvador Perez on the back. There you go, box number two in the books. These are our two autos right there. I'll kind of try to do a quick auto recap at the end of every box. So that way when you're watching the video, again, you can just fast forward to the end of the uh, to the end of each box. Uh, next box. Good luck. All right, next one. Good luck. Heading down the uh, the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen, of baseball. August, and then September. That's it. Two months to go in baseball. The non-waiver trading deadline over. A lot of big moves being made. My Dodgers getting you Darvish, who will be starting tomorrow. That'll be crazy. Sonny Gray started for the Yankees today. I don't know when that, what ended up happening in that game. Someone let me know. But shout out your favorite team, folks, in the chat. Let me know what your favorite team is, and let me know, hey, did your team do enough in the trading deadline? Did they have to do anything at the trading deadline? Did, did they not do anything at the trading deadline? You know, what did you hope? What did end up happening? You talk to me. Let me know. I think the Dodgers did, it, did what they needed to do. They got a couple left-handed relievers, which they needed. They couldn't get a Zach Britton. They're going to have to give up way too much for that. But they did what they needed to do. They got a couple lefties in the bullpen, and they got uh, someone like you, Darvish, front of the rotation guy. Uh, not having the not having a, a classic you, Darvish season, but but you know, still a frontline starter. Good to keep kind of Clayton Kershaw uh, re well rested. All right, there's Jacoby Jones, and there's Luke Weaver. Jeff reporting the Tribe is up 4-1 on the Yankees in the seventh. And Stephen Piscotti there. That Luke Weaver for the Cardinals, Darren McKenzie. Michael House, MH is a Cardinals guy. No trades happening. Yeah, I thought Lance Lynn was going to get moved, but that didn't end up happening. There's Manny Machado. There's a negative of Zach Granke. Diamondbacks. And your next auto is a Bruce Maxwell Blue Wave. 45 out of 75 for the A's. Jay Kreider with Oaktown. Well, what are the Cardinals going to do, MH? Is that a, is that a rebuilding team? Is that team rebuilding, kind of? Uh, Cody Bellinger's like 15 bucks. Um, Dodgers, that'll go to Chris Danielson. 
Are they rebuilding? Are they? I'm not sure. What the? I feel like the Cardinals are kind of in a weird sort of uh, sort of middle ground there. And Kenta Maeda, King Kenta, for the Dodgers and Chris Purple, seventy three out of two ninety nine. And nice Prism Aaron Judge. I mean, that's probably like 40 bucks right there, that Prism Aaron Judge. That's nice. And there is you, Darvish, right there. That was the next box. Jacob Hobbs saying that Altuve just went yard, put the Astros up 2-1 in the bottom third against the Rays. Rays have been pretty pretty surprising this year, right? I mean, they've had they've always had a good, I feel like a good young core, but they've really kind of put it all together. Challenge for a wild card spot. Astros, little injury bug hitting them. A lot of people thought the Astros would make a big move, but I think they're standing pat. They got a big lead in the AL West, and they just need to kind of get, get into the playoffs healthy. But I, think, I, th I think a lot of baseball pundits we're thinking, man, the, the Astros are gonna do do a lot more, right? We thought, hey, we, we gotta we gotta do a lot more. But they didn't. But they've got a good team. One healthy. You know what baseball wants, though? Major League Baseball, they want a Dodgers-Yankees World Series. They want Cody Bellinger against uh, Aaron Judge. You know, they want Clayton Kershaw and Hugh Darvish against Sonny Gray, Luis Severino. They want those matchups. That's what they want to see. You know, Dave Roberts against Joe Girardi. You know, West Coast versus East Coast. That's what they want. Yeah, no, it's understandable, Jacob. The, the Astros GM wants to keep our minor league pipeline strong, which is good. But as a fan, I wanted Zach Britton, he said. Well, so did the Dodgers. They, they, I mean, who doesn't want, you know, a lockdown left-handed reliever like Zach Britton? That makes the back end of, the, of any bullpen amazing, you know. But like your Astros, my Dodgers were like, hey, we're not going to give up top prospects for, for Zach Britton. Dodgers have been pretty strict about about that. Uh, Herman Marquez, it's one of the Rockies' up and coming youngsters. That is for Jared. There you go, Jared. Jeff Dorlak says, "Well, that's not going to happen. Yan Dodgers Yankees World Series? Maybe you never know. The playoffs could be a crapshoot sometimes. The teams that you expect to be there aren't there. Teams you expect." Not to be there, are there? Anything can happen. There's Alex Reyes for the Cardinals. He was supposed to be a big name this past season, but injury. Got him. Darren McKenzie with that one. <coughs> so our two autos are out already. Let's see what other uh, low number parallels we can find. We got a blue Xander Bogarts, 81 out of 150 for the Bo Sox. Uh, that's Jacob. There you go, Jacob. Cody Bellinger is nice. 
Cody Bellinger stuff selling like hotcakes. Negative Marcus Stroman. Andrew Benintendi Prism and Trey Turner. Nice. Jeff Dorlak saying his Yankees are currently playing like like Keystone Cops, like kicking the ball around. <laughs> Defense and pitching right? traditionally win win playoff games. I know my Dodgers have definitely have shored up on the defensive side of things and the pitching side of things. And it's hard to win a World Series though, you know, you can you can look at good teams like the Dodgers, like the Astros, you know, you can you look at these well constructed teams, you know, Cubs as well, Red Sox, Yankees, etc. It's hard to win a World Series though in this day and age. Back in the day, it used to just be, hey, winner of the AL, winner of the NL, boom, you're in the World Series. Let's play, let's play seven games, you know? But now there's wild card games and divisional series and whatnot, so the path to winning a World Series ring is pretty difficult. So many variables involved in baseball, obviously. Makes it makes it difficult. Obviously, my Dodgers haven't even sniffed the World Series since 1988, since they won it all in 1988. They've gone to the NLCS a number of times, but never quite. And have they have not gotten over the hump yet? I'm thinking this year the front office is saying, with the acquisition of Hugh Darvish, I think the front office is signaling, yeah, we're going for it. Well, you know, why not? And I don't think they gave up too much too. Um, Rangers should like the uh, should like Willie Calhoun, I think. Second baseman, a lot of power, bad glove though. His glove might catch up someday, but but he has a lot. He has great pop in his bat, so I mean he could slot in in a DH position maybe. Maybe see if he's decent enough to to stick in like left field or something like that. All right, next box. I hope the Dodgers win the NLCS, MH. That's the idea. David Polino, speaking of the Astros, that goes to Jacob Hobbs. There you go, Jacob. Just a regular one, not numbered. There's Yoan Mankata, who is back healthy, I think. And there's Ian Happ. Feel free to use the entire canvas, Ian Happ. Ian Happ, supposedly, is going to be like the next Ben Zobris, I think. At least that's how Joe Madden might use him. Joe Madden, when he was with the Rays, used Ben Zobris and got him back on the Cubs. When Ben Zobris not getting any younger, Ian Happ might be, might be able to play that role. He is versatile enough. That goes to the Cubs. That goes to Caleb. What's up, Kip? What's going on? Oh, did he really? I didn't realize that. Jacob saying Polino got suspended 80 games. PEDs got popped. Christian Yelich, orange, 17 out of 25. That goes to Jordan. Nice. Jarella Cotton for the A's. Orlando Arcia. Kirsch. Altuve. That's nice, Altuve, for you, Jacob. That'll ship out to you. The Xander Bogart's negative, and the Kyle Schwarber. All right. Folks, uh, this break is going to take like another 30, 40 minutes. So. 
if you're looking for something to do, like if you're not in this break and you're like, hey, I want to do something else, I want to break something, you can go to, you can go search 10 buck breaks on YouTube and Jason Jaspi is streaming there right now. He's looking to fill up breaks for every spot is $10. That's not bad. So help him out, give him a shot. He's got some breaks that should be close. I mean, either they should be close to filling or they're probably easy to fill because they're only 10 bucks a spot. So check out our new channel, 10 Buck Breaks. From the makers of Jaspi's Hobbyland comes 10 Buck Breaks. Check it out. I know, apparently the, those Aaron Judge autos are few and far between. Well, here, here's what I'm thinking. Because Kip's like, you may have to put a bounty on those Aaron Judge autographs. Well, thankfully, we're randomizing the Yankees to one person in the, in the pick your team breaks. And someone can get the Yankees for only $79.99 in our jumbo cases. But man, I feel I feel bad for the people who who have purchased the Yankees straight up. Cause I hear that I hear those Aaron Judge autos have been few and far between. But hey, that's supply and demand, right? Fewer Aaron Judge autos. When you hit one, that'll be good. And there's been, there's been plenty of uh, parallels too, and even those base cards go for twenty bucks a spot. So you can you can make like in a jumbo break. Even if you don't get an Aaron Judge auto in a jumbo break, like which we have right now on JaspiesHobbyland.com, you can get the Yankees for eighty bucks, and even some of the base cards and parallels that come out for Aaron Judge could like pay for most, if not all, of the spot. So I would really, honestly, I would get that jumbo break going next. JaspiesHobbyland.com, check it out. It's an eight box break with five autographs per box. That's 40 autos in the case. All right, next one, good luck. Mark Trumbo leads us off. And Brett Phillips for the Brew Crew. That'll go to Peter. Matt Olson Refractor. I love that 87 wood frame. So there's that Aaron Judge. That's like 20 bucks right there. And Rob Zastrizny. I think I got it this time. Rob Strizizny. Striz it's terrible with those kind of names. Uh, well, Kip's like, I can only imagine Yankee prices in higher end sets later this year. Uh, well, we do have, a, I think, Immaculate is coming out in the middle of the month. So we'll have an idea of what the Yankees are going to be like. Maybe we'll randomize them off like we did in these Topps Chrome breaks. Nice Yohan Moncada, 87. Freddie Freeman. Kyle Hendricks. Manny Margot, who won NL Player of the Week last week. And we got a nice purple Jacob deGrom. 276 out of 299 for the Metropolitan. That'll go to Mary Lou. And nice. You got Cole Hamels. Nice wave. Seven out of 50. Uh, that will go to the Rangers. Dennis Alvarez. Dennis Alvarez with the Rangers. Nice Aaron Judge. I think these go for like 40 bucks, right? Someone look that up. What does these 87 Aaron Judge, like non-number parallels go for? <laughs> Yasiel Puig, that's my boy right there. 99 out of 150. Nice Yasiel Puig for Chris Danielson and the Dodgers. And that is that for this box. Jeff, I think the Aaron Judge redemption autos are for parallels. His base autos I believe, if I'm not mistaken, are live. But we haven't seen either yet, so that's only hearsay. That's true. That we can, we can do it that way, kid. We'll figure it out, one or the other. Now, the prices for these Aaron Judge base card 
base cards right here will probably only last about a week. So I would, I mean, they'll still sell for a lot in the future, you know, more than a lot of more than a lot of other common cards, even some autos. But I would suggest getting into these breaks now so we can ship them to you as quickly as possible. And then you'll be able to kind of make as much as possible on those Aaron Judge base cards, if that's what you're doing. If you want to, if you're into making money off of these things, some people just like collecting. Them. That's okay too. That's old school. But yes, that's right, Kim. Sell them while they're red hot. Now, those base autos, in the, you know, maybe a month or two later, they'll probably drop down to like ten bucks a card or something like that, which is still great, you know. But I think they're at the hottest this week, while it's a new release. It only came out yesterday, so by the time, you know we break this, we ship it out to you, you know, that's a pretty good time frame for you to still sell those uh, and try to sell those base cards as much as possible. Now, they'll, they'll still have them. It's still Aaron Judge, you know. They'll still have value afterwards, after a week or two from the release, but right now, hotcakes. Rory is thinking, hey, we're watching football, we're watching baseball, but he wants to do that football. He wants to do super break football. We can give that a shot. That's on jaspishobbyland.com. Check it out there. Only 20 bucks a spot. Two box break. Two hits per box. Four total. 20 bucks to get you a monster hit. Just go to the website, jaspishobbyland.com. Check out the sell sheet there. We also have Super Break Basketball, speaking of Super Break. We're about halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. About, a, what, another half hour or so to go? So I would try to get whatever else going. We also have another pick your team available where we randomize the Yankees to one person in the break. And we also have jumbo cases available. Those are random team breaks. I would like to get one of those done tonight. All right, there's Adam Wainwright leading us off. There's Jake Arrieta. And Nice. What is this? Gold Wave Cody Ballinger. 43 out of 50 for Chris Danielson. Cody Ballinger stuff are going pretty well. Uh, FanDuel's Jared is saying that looks like that retro base judge going for about 25 to 30 bucks a pop. There you go. That's not bad. Those Cody Ballinger should do pretty well as well. Seth Lugo for the Metropolitans. That'll go to Mary Lou. And Roman Quinn for the Phillies. That'll go to James Allen. There you go, James. And that's 41 out of 499. All right, so those are our two autographs. Let's kind of breeze through these. Let's see what we have here. Nice Bregman. Kyle Freeland Refractor. We got the a negative parallel, Jesse Winker. Two games, two home runs for him recently. Hunter Renfro. Hugh Darvish. And Nick Castellanos, Blue Wave, 73 out of 75 for the Tigers, James Allen. and Cody Bellinger at the end here. All right. Next box. Yeah, Jeff's saying that maybe around twelve bucks for the eighty-seven Judge Refractor. Either way, I'm still getting a. Still, I mean, a lot of those cards tend to pop out. You can get a pretty decent amount. My suggestion would be to get into these breaks early and often, so before the before the market has too many of those. I don't know, you like that Chris Collinsworth in the background? We're football fans too, Austin. We want to watch. Want to watch the game as well. 
So you can watch football with Jaspies, watch Jaspies, break with Jaspies, jaspieshobbyland.com. That's the way to do it. So we're a little over halfway through this break, chugging along. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting into this. We want to try to move that jumbo version of this break and try to pull some more monsters out of here. Still have time for monsters in this break, too, so don't go anywhere. You might miss a monster. Don't miss monsters. I know, me too, Jeff. Jason Jaspi and I were just talking about how much we're not really fans of uh, Chris Collinsworth as a uh, as a color commentator. I like, um, who is it, Al Michaels is the other guy, right? I like him. He's great. Play by play. Collinsworth, not, not really, never was really a huge fan of him. All right, next box. Good luck. Ooh, a redemption. Any guesses on that? Talk to me, folks. Any guesses on that redemption? Bragging rights is what you'll get. Oh, Kip, you, you like Chris Collinsworth? Maybe, no, maybe not the worst. I mean, I, I agree, but... Not the biggest fan of him, though. Pat Velika. TJ says Lewis Brinson. Henry Owen. Tebow, maybe? Jackie Bradley Jr. Luke Weaver, freshman flash, not numbered. Michael Fulmer. And Michael Brantley Green, nice, 23 out of 99. Nice, Matt Olson. That looked cool. Oh, right here, Vakshana. He's asking any John Gruden fans here. I'm a big John Gruden fan. And Ivan Nova for the Pirates. That goes to Matt D. 14 out of 150 on that. Revived his career in Pittsburgh. All right. No more guesses. Vince says the last name will start with a B on that redemption. Here's your first auto right there for the Rockies. That one was for Jared. And what do we have? We've got Kevin Crimeer. What are you hiding, Kevin? Will my expression be this? Well, stay tuned, folks. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Rookie autograph. I've heard of these guys. Kips is Aaron Judge. Why not? H. U. It's got to be Hunter Renfro, right? Hunter Renfro. Nice one for the Padres. That goes to Dennis Aquino. Hunter Renfro, Manny Margot. They've got a, you know, along with uh, Will Myers. They're quietly building a nice young core out there in San Diego. All right. Four boxes to go. Yeah, Jeff, you don't have to remind me about that, that Gruden trade. As a Raider fan, that was pretty brutal. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next four boxes.
I think you're thinking of Brinson. <laughs> Lewis Brinson for the for the Brewers. That's where you, I think that's what you were thinking, Vince. We've seen a couple of his redemptions already too. Davis leads us off. There's Alex Reyes. And a negative of Christian Arroyo for the Giants. Aaron Judge, that's 20 bucks right there for now. <laughs> Kyle Hendricks. And there's our auto, Chad Pinder. Going to Jay Kreider and the A's. Nice one for the Athletics. Our oldest Chapman. Aaron Judge. It's another 15 20 $25 right there. I thought that was the gold, Miguel Cabrera. Benintendi. Marcus Stroman, that's gold right there. 20 out of 50. Blue Jays. That'll go to Jordan Hope. Second auto is another A, Ryan Healy, who's been having a nice season. There you go. Ryan Healy, another one for Jay Kreider. Jay Kreider box. Nice. Let's see if we have any other parallels here that we like. D. Gordon, Refractor. And Jacob deGrom at the end right here. There you go. Does seem like it, right, Kip? A's hit like crazy. But I feel like it's one of those, yeah, I was going to say, that's exactly what I was going to say, Kip, until you buy the, I was going to say, like, it's it's one of those things where you see the A's hit all the time, and then the second you, the second one buys them, this, you know, thinking, hey, these guys hit all the time. And then you're like, whoops, nope, not for me. Another box, third to final, third to last box. And we got two more after that. Almost done, almost there. Should be done in about 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll be looking forward to our next break at, on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Now, if you don't want to wait that long, if you're like, Joe, I don't want to wait, I want to do a break right now. I want to get in something quick, something fast, something fun. We've got that. Just search 10 buck breaks on YouTube. And Jason Jaspi, who's uh, in the office right behind the studio, right behind me, is running that channel right now, so you'll be able to check him out there. Ten buck breaks. Every spot is ten dollars. It's a lot of fun. Quick, easy, and fun. Jump in, dive into a break, get some great hits for only ten dollars, jump out, and go. A lot of magic that can happen there. All 
All right. Good luck, everyone. Dylan Bentances to lead us off. And we've got a blue wave, David Price, 11 out of 75 for the Bow Sox. That'll be for Jacob Hobbs. And another A, Jarrell Cotton. That'll, that's another one for Jay Kreider. Josh Bell. Aaron Judge, freshman flash for the Yankees. All those Aaron Judge cards, Jordan, may, may have just paid for your spots that you got in this break. Purple Edwin Encarnacion. 86 out of 299 for the Tribe. That'll go to James Allen. And another A. Last four autographs have been Oakland A's. Jay Crowder is happy about that. Former Dodger prospect Jarrell Cotton there. Great ability to make batters miss. Once he gets the rest of his game in order, it'll be great. Carlos Correa, 40 out of 99. Nice. Nice. That'll go to Jacob Hobbs and the Astros. And there you go. All right, two boxes to go. Sorry about that, hitting, hitting the camera there. Good luck, everybody. In fact, I'm gonna open up both the last two boxes at the same time, and we'll run right through them. Um, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Make sure you get to our website, folks, and check out what we do. We've got more of this Topps Chrome Baseball on the website. We'd like to do more. We want to do more. There's a 12-box uh, hobby version where we randomize the um, Yankees to one person in the break. We also have an 8-box jumbo random team version. Every jumbo box has five autographs a piece. That's a 40 auto break, plus a ton of parallels, a boatload of parallels. So be sure to jump into that action as well. So we're down to our final two boxes. Peter asking if there were any brewers. Were there brewers autographs? I'm blanking on that. I don't know if I remember calling your name. I think there was a redemption where everyone thought it was going to be a brewer, but we, that didn't end up happening. But does anybody remember? There may have been some numbered cards that I forgot about. But four autos to go. Let's see what they're going to be. Chris Hansen, what's going on? You're assuming that I've gotten you seven or eight Bellinger autos already. No, I'm afraid not. If by Bellinger you mean Jarrell Cotton, then, or open A's. No, no Bellinger autos yet, but there were a couple Bell Bellinger base cards and uh, a couple numbered cards as well for uh, Cody Bellinger. But there's still four autographs to go. Oh, everyone's got the same A's joke in the chat. A's guy is happy, though. Jay's happy. 
Jane, he's like, he's sitting at home going, I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. It could happen to anybody any day, you know? All right, two boxes to go. Opening up both boxes at the same time. Jazzy'sHobbyLand.com. 12 box hobby, pick your teams. Eight box jumbo, random teams. Get it. Jazzy'sHobbyLand.com. Got four autos to go, so good luck to everyone. Vakshana wondering uh, if the Oakland will ever keep their star players. Yeah, I don't know. It's a. Uh, I don't quite know what the Open A's strategy is. My guess is that they're waiting to... I think they're waiting for the, the right moment where all the, all the sort of young uh, team controllable players that they have that are still, like, still in arbitration and whatnot, where they collect all, enough of those guys to make a playoff a World Series run or something like that, you know, and just win with a young core, that kind of thing. And then if that happens, then they can work towards, you know, maybe they'll make a free agent move or a big trade to get them over the hump. But until then, I think they're just waiting for all the dominoes or all the dominoes, all the puzzle pieces to kind of click together. I guess domino pieces could click together too to make that happen. All right. Cargo leads us off. There's Dansby. And Sean Newcomb, orange, for the Braves, 13 out of 25. Nice orange for the Braves. That goes to Mary Lou. Uh, I guess I guess they're waiting for the Coliseum to collapse, too. They've been talking about a new ballpark for a long time. Giolito, future stars, leads us off. He's been pitching pretty well in the minors lately. He's back. Giolito is back on track. Giolito fans. Clayton Kershaw. And, wow. There it is. Carlos Correa, then and now autograph. Seven out of 50. Got a Buster Posey yesterday, a Carlos Correa today, and that goes to Jacob Hobbs. That is nice. Seven out of 50. Nice one. Yeah, Jay God's like, finally, a nice hit. You're on the board, man, with a great hit. And Oppo Joe Mojo, opposite Joe, tie black. So three autos in that box. I believe that Carlos Correa could be considered could be considered a case hit. Uh, Caleb with the Giants. This left-hander has has befuddled the Dodgers in recent starts. Nice Aaron Judge for Jordan. Ivan Nova, purple, forty-eight out of. Uh, Two ninety nine, that is, and Andrew Tolls. Uh, Pirates insert parallel going to Matt with the Pirates. All right, let's, let's sleeve these and slide these over. So nice second to last box. Uh, three autographs coming out of there, and the last box. Good luck, everybody. Alex Reyes blue for the Redbirds. That'll go to Darren McKenzie. 37 out of 150. Christian Arroyo. 
Stephen Matz, negative Robin Cano, Trey Mancini, Carson Fulmer, and Bruce Maxwell, another A. Another A for J. Maybe starting your Bruce Maxwell PC right here too. Nice one for the A's, great break for them. And let's see if we finish it off with some uh, some parallels here. There's Yuli, Bellinger, Seeger, Story, Polanco, that was not a gold. This is a green, Jordan Montgomery for Jordan Hope and the Yankees. 37 out of 99. And that is that, Amir Garrett on the back right here. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 2017 Topps Chrome Baseball, a brand new release. Just came out yesterday. Just came out yesterday and uh, that was pick your team number three, a hobby case, 12-box hobby case. We have more on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll break more of this with you next time. Bye-bye.